Hey there, I want to show you how we make a picture in picture for our sermon slides uh, on Sunday morning for our church. So let me take you to our pro presenter. A prop or a for a picture in picture that will go onto your live stream video feed. Now, we do not run our live stream through ProPresenter. Uh, so it's going to look a little bit different if you do. Uh, but let's just say, for example, um, screen one is going to be the main screen. This isn't a computer that I use normally on, on Sunday morning, so there's some, some things that aren't set up. But let's say screen one is your main screen, your main, uh, uh, the main TVs or main projector screen. Uh, and when I click on an image, for example, let me get rid of that. If I click on this image, then it's going to take up the whole screen. But if I'm in my lower third or my live stream, I don't want that image to take up the whole screen. I want it to just show up as a picture in picture down here at the bottom left or bottom right, whatever you want to do. Uh, so let me show you how to set that up. Uh, let me remove uh, this prop here. So we we have to create what ProPresenter calls a prop. And a prop is basically the top layer. So you have a background or, or media, then you have a slide on top of that or the information that's on a slide. And then on top of that, you have uh, you have a prop. So, um, so I'm gonna create a brand new prop. I'm gonna come down here to plus. And I'm going to call this prop picture in picture. All right. So let me go to right click on it. I'm going to try to. There we go. Edit. And in order to do this, I have to create a shape to stick it down here in the bottom left. And I'm going to tell that shape that I want it to be the, uh, the current slide. So you create a shape. And I'm sure there's a couple different ways of doing this. This is how I did it. I'm going to put it down here at the bottom left. Uh, I could figure out the exact dimensions of what the uh, screen's going to be, you know, 16 by 9. But for right now, I'm just going to draw that rectangle. And the fill, I'm, it's not going to be a fill color. I'm, I'm going to go to current slide image. And then these, as you can see, uh, black bars or black and gold bars pop up, letting me know that something's going to fill that. And it's going to be the current slide image. All right. So I'll go to show. Now I need to create a look that when I apply that look, it's going to apply that picture in picture specifically to the lower third, not to screen one, but to the lower third. All right, so I'm gonna to go to screens tab, edit looks, and here's, I'm just gonna call this live stream. And on my screens, I want everything to be coming through just like normal. I might even have a template or a theme set up for my main screen. Uh, for my lower third, I uh, want to make sure the prop is uh, is going to be live or is going to be activated, but I don't want the slide to be turned on, and that's, of course, going to be the text, and I don't want media to be turned on, which is going to be any pictures or videos. Um, all right, so I got that set up already where I just selected that, deselected that. So I created that look, but now I want to create a macro. Let's, I'm going to call this sermon. And the way we have our sermons is that there's, there's multiple macros for the sermon. So there's going to be a macro for the uh, sermon graphic. There's going to be a macro for, this, for any scripture in the sermon or a bullet point in the sermon, as you can tell here, uh, which that would require another video. All right. So for this sermon... I'm going to add some actions and the main action since I just set it up is the live stream audience look. All right. And so I'm going to apply that macro to this first slide. All right. So the way it's going to look is if I'm on screen one, my main screen, and I click on that first slide, bam, it's going to show up full screen, but I don't want that on the lower third. So if I go to the lower third and click on that, nothing's showing up. Why is that? Because I need to tell that macro that I want the prop to be activated. All right, so I'm going to go to add action, prop, picture in picture that I just created. Now, I've already have that macro on there, so any anything I add to this, uh, into this macro, a clear all, um, a different look, whatever, 
um, a motion background, anything I add to that macro, the next time I click on any slide that has that macro on it, it's going to make that change, whatever I had in there. So click that. And there's my picture and picture. So, uh, and, and that'll continue with, with all of these. So I click through all the slides, everything's just going to be picture in picture. Now that looks pretty small. So just imagine somebody looking on their phone at this screen, uh, or on their TV at home. It's kind of hard to see that. Let's say, let's say a, somebody's phone screen might be, uh, you know, somewhere around that, that size, maybe a, iPhone, huge iPhone, whatever. That's still kind of small. So I need to go back and I need to make that prop rectangle to be a little bit bigger. But just imagine that's going to be the video feed being sent to your live stream. And then here is the picture in picture. And really, uh, this isn't how I would do song lyrics, but it is a one of the easiest way that you could do song lyrics. Just whatever's being sent to the main screen, that's what's here as well. Um, and I can show you what a, a video looks like uh, in just a second. But let me, but first I'm going to go back to that prop, this props tab. I'm going to edit it. And like I said, it's just a little bit too small. So I'm going to make that bigger. Maybe there. Let's try that. All right. Because that prop is already embedded in this macro and that macro is already embedded as an action on this slide, that change that I just made is going to automatically apply. Bam. There we go. Let's see if the words are, oh man, that's a lot better, a lot easier to read. I, I wish I could show you what the uh, what the video would look, the video feed would look like. I just don't have that uh, on this computer. But let's see what a video looks like. All right, if you noticed, the video was not playing. Uh, it's because the current slide image is being sent to that, but the uh, if it's a video, then it's not gonna send it because it's, it's just looking at an image. Uh, so here's what, here's what I would do. I'm gonna create, another macro i'm going to change change let me change the title of this uh okay i have to right click sermon and that is a uh, sermon slides i'm going to create another macro that is called video so in this macro i don't want the picture in picture instead i want any video that uh that i play not I want it to take up the whole screen. I want it to kind of take over the screen. So I'm going to have to create a look for that. So I'm going to go to edit, create a new look called video. And on this particular one, I don't want uh, any slides to show up and I don't want any props to show up in my lower third, but I do want the media. All right. So I'm going to get back out of this, add the action of that audience look uh, video. There we go. And just in case anything funny happens, I'm also gonna add a clear group, a clear all action to this one. So it's gonna clear any props, it's gonna clear everything. So I'm gonna put that here on this video. Now, let me clear all. So let's say I'm on the sermon slide, sermon graphic, it's all great picture in picture. But now I'm gonna go to this video. It got rid of the picture in picture and now it's playing the whole video live now let's go back here and it jumped to the sermon slides macro which is attached to there all right so hopefully that helps here's one other thing that i would do that i'd like to do all the time that doesn't tell me that it's a video i mean i can see that it's kind of looks like a motion background i'm going to go to my inspector i do this with pretty much every video that i need to i'm going to go to my inspector i'm going to jump forward to a to a frame of this video that makes a little bit more sense. It, it just automatically tells me that it's a video. I mean, really any of these are gonna work. Let's say, I like that one. Set to current frame. There we go. Now that just says to me a lot more that's a video. I'm also gonna make sure that's not gonna automatically loop. So I can do that also through inspector. Uh, come over here. Oh, look at that, it was set to loop. I do not want that to loop. So I'm gonna change the playback to stop. There we go. So you got your picture in picture for your live stream. You got your video that's going to take up the full screen for the live stream. Um, and hopefully that's helpful to you.